I'm Russ Kickle, and in today's installment of American Reef, we've got another video from our diving series. So if you're not familiar with our diving series, the idea behind these videos is simple, right? As reef keepers, usually there's a desire to go diving on a real coral reef someday. And to me, if you have the time and basically the ability to do it, um, then, you know, how do you get started? And these videos are meant to kind of educate you, to give you a tool, a weapon, whatever you want to call it, to help make that decision. Right. They are brought to us by a coworker of mine who used to be a reef keeper who basically fell in love with diving and if he's lucky he'll get out two to five times a year diving. And when he does dive, he'll take and he'll actually document the, uh, the dives in video form, which for us, again, since he shares them with us, um, it, we all benefit from, you know, vicariously through him. Now, his last adventure took place on November 2018, and it's the adventure that we're going to see today. Basically, it was down in the Honduras area. Um, uh, if you don't know about the, um, the coral reef, you know, down there, I believe it's the second largest. Um, it's protected by the, um, the Honduran Coral Reef Foundation kind of thing. Um, specifically, the area he was at was an area called Rotan. And in Rotan, there are these islands, right? Um, the islands that he saw, or the main ones anywhere that he dove by, was an area called Caios Conchinos. At least I believe that is how it is pronounced. And um, you can kind of see here on his dive what it looks like in that area. I know afterwards I had a couple questions for him and he only had good things to say about the dive and the accommodations, etc. So if you're thinking about diving, right, and again you have the time and ability, basically um, this might be a, a good trip for you to go on. Uh, the, the accommodations where he stayed at, it was a boat called the Aggressor, the Roton Aggressor to be specific, um, and um, it's a liveaboard. And if you're not familiar with a liveaboard, what it is is basically you're living aboard this boat for as long as the dive is. So if you have a four-day dive, um, you are out on that water for four days which to me is a great thing, meaning you're paying to go on a dive. You want to get the most dive time or be in the water as most as you can. And what better way of doing that in, you know, than actually living on the water for those days. So again, you'll see some pictures here of the boat, the accommodations, and the diving. And uh, if you are lucky enough to actually head out to the Rotan area in Honduras, um, send me an email, let me know how it goes, and also let me know if these videos were useful. That's AmericanReef at me.com. 